Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm filming in the studio settings. This is an old residence of a rich family in this town and I thought it's so pretty. So why not make a little video for you guys while I'm here. <laughs> um, in this video I want to talk to you guys about those things you just can't translate into English and if you translate them it's becoming really weird. Okay, so I thought about this a few days ago when I was talking to an English speaking friend and when we were saying goodbye and goodnight to each other on the WeChat, I wanted to say rest earlier because that's what you say in Chinese and I'm so used to using the Chinese. <laughs> so I tried to write it in English and I was like, no, that sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end I decided just to write it in Chinese because he also speaks Chinese so he knew what I was talking about and he was like you too <laughs> but I just when I wrote when I wrote that I just realized oh there are some things you just can't really translate oh if you do it's just really weird like it's so common in Chinese but when you translate it into English it's really weird so that was like the first example I have another example uh, this one's kind of funny because like when you're going out with Chinese people you always say war woman woman to you war ba let's go and play yeah I know <laughs> we're grown-ups right um, it can become a little awkward <laughs> especially if you try to translate it so like let's go and play <laughs> you know what I mean right I probably shouldn't say more than that um, so yeah definitely translate that into let's hang out or let's go for blah 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 something tourists are coming it was such a beautiful location and now it's noisy I'm sorry guys anyways I'll continue with a loud voice <laughs> so just remember don't translate war into English because play it just turns into another meaning and you don't want that <laughs> so just don't go there anyways another one is also quite funny so here I would call my friends um, like uh, my, my friend I visited in the other town here Sijia I would call her I could call her Jie Jie for bigger sister. I also called her smaller sister Mei Mei for little sister. I actually didn't use her name once. I also called her aunt Gugu and I called her mom and dad Wang Mama and Wang Baba. <laughs> but if I translate that into English and think about it, okay, I actually called her Mama and Baba and sister, even though they're not my family members, like, I don't know in your country, but in Denmark, we would only use people's first name. They would be like, hi, my name is na 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 na. But here, they never introduce me with any names. They're just like, oh, this is Gugu, this is Baba, this is Mama. <laughs> so that's another really funny difference. Like, it's so common to say in Chinese. Also, like, when I went to ask a, um, what is that called? Like that guy who's checking your tickets, parking tickets? Uh, yesterday I called him out and asked him to help me find my uh, hostel. So I called him and said, Shifu, please help me. Shifu means master. So again, in English, if I translate and call him like, master, please help me. That would be so weird, right? Yeah, so that's one of those other funny things. It's just like, you can't really translate it. Or if you, do, you can translate it, but if you do, the meaning is just so random. The same, especially if I translated it to Danish and be like, I called people mama, baba. Even more weird, <laughs> but in Chinese it's just so normal. <laughs> Another really good example is that I love the word ma fan for trouble. But I feel like trouble is more intense than ma fan. Ma fan's more like, oh, it's annoying, it's not great, something like that. Um, but you know, if I use it here, it's just, somebody just came, made me awkward. Now I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, so that term, I use it a lot, even though I speak English, I still say ma fan Chinese, uh, use the Chinese word, because it's just, it's more, 
it's suitable it fits perfectly <laughs> another really one, a good one is also uh, when we go for the barbecue and we say oh yeah let's go and have some chwar let's go and have the sticks with the meat on yeah we don't say sticks with the meat on no or like let's go and have some meat or some barbecue we say let's go and have some chwar <laughs> that's a Beijing one um, yeah I don't know if they use it in other parts of the country you can probably tell me um, so those are some of the words I have come across where I was like oh is this better just to say it in Chinese um, also when I was in Hangzhou with my blogger friend because she's married to a Chinese guy so they speak a lot of Chinese so when we're talking we're literally adding these Chinese words to our English conversations all the time and I think it's so fun how you can play around with two languages and you know just make it into your own creative language or something um, but please remind uh, please remember that if you do that make sure that your friend speaks both languages because if they don't it's gonna be weird <laughs> Okay guys, that was just my little video here from the Shen family Shen's uh, residence. I'm gonna show you guys. Mm. This is kind of a different way of filming these videos. I hope it's okay with you guys. You know, I was in this museum anyway, so why not make a video? Well, when I'm walking around, it's nice, then I feel like I have somebody to talk to. So yeah, please leave a comment below with um, other words you just can't translate into the language you're speaking from the language you spoke before or the opposite, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling is out, see ya, and bye!